Did Alabama once have a mafia? Well, the resounding answer to that is yes. Known as the Dixie Mafia, its major exploits happened around the 50s and 60s. And it was, and maybe still is, one of the deepest networks of good old boys in the entire South. And these networks were known to be from Texas all the way to Florida. And it was comprised of law enforcement and government officials. And of course, underworldly figures. When Prohibition ended in the 30s, most of the Southern states kept those same laws, which opened the door for every type of illegal activity. Whatever you could think of, it was happening in places like Phoenix City, Alabama. Phoenix City was literally known as Sin City, and it was one of the most corrupt towns in the entire United States, even to the point where local sheriffs and deputies would aid in the activity. This included strong-arming local businesses, assisting with women getting sold for services, helping or covering up bodies that would later be found in places like the Chattahoochee River, and joining or turning a blind eye to things like gambling, all while enabling or conducting acts of force against the community. One of the ringleaders of this was Chief Deputy Albert Fuller. He and two other men were responsible for the life of Albert Patterson, the man who had just won the Democratic nomination for Alabama's Attorney General, and a man who said he was going to do everything he could to clean up Phoenix City. Because he was a political figure, the Alabama governor enacted martial law, making Phoenix City one of the only places to ever have martial law enacted in the state. The grip of the Dixie Mafia slowly started fizzling away, and some would even say that the Dixie Mafia still exists, even if it's silently now. And they would tell you to look at the patterns across the South. And I don't know, maybe they're right. You tell me.